All right, today we're going to talk about fighting moves, step by step, how to be ready for an attack. So, you know, if you're out and about or something's going on, maybe you're with your family, somebody's maybe comes up to you, tries to engage you in some kind of, um, I don't know, they're just, they got problems and they come up and they, they're wanting to fight you, like, or, you know, it looks like they might try to hurt somebody within your family. You know, you need to be ready. So we're talking about step by step how to be ready for a fight, right? So the first step is when you know there's a problem, first thing you want to do is try to avoid it. So, you know, if I was like at Ohio State or maybe I'm in a bad area of town or even not really in a good area of town where, where I live is pretty good, so I wouldn't do this normally, but if somebody's walking down the sidewalk and I'm walking towards them, let's say it's three guys or four guys, maybe they're 20 year olds, 18 year olds, whatever, I would cross the street and go on the other side, right? If I had my family, I'd definitely cross the street. I do not want to engage or be in a situation where I would engage somebody that may do something foolish, right? Some young person. I'm not saying all young people are bad. Half the time you'd walk by them, nothing would happen. But why not be more cognizant of what's going on in your surroundings and just take the easy route and just cross the street walk down the other side. Now, if there's tons of people around, I mean, maybe that's not a big deal, but if you're in an area that's suspect or an area that's maybe not the greatest, you know, you really need to be aware of what's going on. In downtown cities, you need to be aware, you know, it could be dangerous. So just avoid, right? That's the first thing you do. Step by step, the first step, avoid. Now, let's say I go to the other side of the street, they cross the street too. I know right there a confrontation's coming. Okay, I know it. <laughs> they don't cross the street when I cross the street or right after I cross the street because they want to cross to the other side. I mean, that's usually not the situation. Unless it's a crosswalk and they came up and they walked across, that might be. But So at that point, if you can run fast, maybe you should run. So that's the second thing, just take off. I mean, if they start running after you, then you know, okay, it's on, like, you're in for it. Okay, so run, get away, that's the second thing. Third thing, carry mace. So step by step, you know, defensive moves, carry something that's going to even the odds. Three against one, two against one, maybe even one on one. Maybe you got some guy that's really tough, way tougher than you, and mace equalizes everything, right? Like you spray them in their eyes, they can't see, they can't fight, they can't do anything, right? so that you can get away. So I would definitely carry mace, even if you're a guy, I'd carry mace, especially if you're like going to places that are not safe. I have rental property in places that are not safe. I carry mace, I have it with me. When I get out of the car, I have it ready. When I go into the apartments, I have it ready. I am ready all the time. And I'm a highly skilled fighter, but I'd rather shoot mace at them if somebody's gonna attack me and get away instead of like trying to punch and kick and hit somebody and getting hurt myself. Maybe they'll pull a knife and knife me. It's not good for me, right? So, the other thing is, let's say you don't have mace, you can't get away, person's on top of you, they start something with you. Okay, defensive position, get your, 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 your feet. See how this is? I should be just like that. I should be like I'm walking. So my fighting stance is just like I'm walking. This ain't, this is not karate. I'm not doing this. Okay, I'm not doing that. I can't move that way, right? In a karate stance. I'm not doing a horse stance. I can't move. So in boxing and in MMA, those guys, they stand and they're, they're ready, right? So I don't want to be like this, and get my hands up and be ready for a fight, like, like I'm going to punch you, because they might just start punching and swinging right when you do that. So first thing is, if they come up on me, I back off and say, hey, hey, what's going on? I got my defensive stance, I got my hands up. You know, what's going on? This is two reasons. Defense, so let's say he doesn't even talk or says screw you and throws a punch. Boom, here it is. So if he throws a punch straight ahead, he's gonna hit my elbows and boom, break his hand. He throws a wild hook, 
my arm's here, he's going to hit my arm, not going to knock me out. Okay? Now if he starts flurrying on you, start moving and keeping your, your hands and arms up and your elbows out so that he hopefully hits your elbows, right? Breaks his hands, hurts himself, you can get away. At some point in time, if he's not quitting the flurry, if you know jiu-jitsu, train them jiu-jitsu videos we show, you can take them to the ground, lock them up, break their arm, do something, stop them, get away. If not, you can do some of the other techniques we teach, you know, quick kick to the groin, kick to the throat, or hit to the throat, hit to the chin, but you aren't throwing wild haymakers like this guy, you know, throwing wild haymakers trying to hit you like this, and you know, all you're doing is covering up, making sure that you don't get hit. But at some point, they're going to get tired, and at that point, you can punch real quick, hit them in the chin, hit them in the throat, hit them in the, you know, come up and hit them in the gut, keel them over. You can come up to a knee to the groin, you can kick the groin. So there's a lot of things you can do, but the first thing you want to do, hey, what's going on? What, what, something, you know, what's wrong? Hands up, stance, rep. That's what you got to do. So, step by step, that's how it ends up being. So the first thing you want to do is just avoid a situation. If you see people coming, they look maybe not the safest people, move to the other street, move into a building, avoid the situation. If you can't avoid the situation, run. If you can't run faster than them, mace them. If you didn't bring your mace with you, get in a defensive position and get ready for fight. Hopefully it's just one-on-one, -on -one, but if it's two or three-on-one, on you'll have to watch our video on multiple attackers to learn how to deal with that. And then aim at things that will disable them quickly. Knee strike, punch to the stomach, punch to the chin, punch to the throat. You know, you can even do an eye gouge, you know, grab their eyes and boom. But you, every time you do something, you want to make sure everything's protected. So if I'm throwing a punch, I want my chin tucked and my hand up. I don't want to be like this. You know, you see, the young guys always do that. They're fighting like this. Like, their hands are clear down here. I, what the heck? That does, that does nothing for you. All it takes is one shot to the chin and you're knocked out. You can do elbow strikes. Okay? Knees. Okay? So those are the step-by-step, step-by-step um, what you want to do for uh, anything that comes up in a street fight or somebody tries to attack you. All right, hopefully everybody loved the uh, video we just did. If you can, hit our subscribe button. It's just easy, go over and click it so you can get more great content. And then also, if you can for us, just hit the like button. That'll be very helpful for us. Thanks.